This is Ally Paranormal's investigation files, her continued look into local Michigan hauntings. We returned to a case in Saginaw where we encountered cold spots and captured an unexpected EVP. We also captured a strange event on video. Standing right there because I was sitting right here in my chair and um, I got up because I heard noise in the kitchen. And I stood up right here and I seen a shadow and I jumped up and I ran right here by you and I said, I seen you, I seen you, can I go away? I seen you. I'm thinking we're not gonna get anything because it was so quiet and then all of a sudden I heard somebody behind me so I turned and looked and I didn't see anything. But there was definitely somebody standing behind me. It was quiet in the house until we noticed the smell of pine saw in the air. And where I had found the bucket with pine saw, it didn't have a smell to it. It smelled almost like nothing but water. So I have no idea why the house filled up with the smell like that. Oh, we were downstairs. It felt like we were standing there and talking, and then all of a sudden it felt like somebody was rubbing on my arm really lightly. And I asked if anything was touching me, and then immediately I had asked Rosanna if she had felt anything, or if anything was touching her, and I think she had said the same thing, that something was touching her. And then we heard noises behind us. Yeah. Yeah, we were, yeah, it was freaky being touched, and should not be able to get by you. I heard you threw a tomato at Rosanna. I heard you threw a tomato at Rosanna. We had spent a bulk of the investigation looking for an older spirit, but what we found shocked us all. We're going to turn the TV on for us. We're waiting for you. Were you killed here? What happened when you opened the door? Uh, when I opened the door, I felt a rush, a uh, cold rush. Uh, I want to say that I felt somebody walk by me. Let's say if you were if you open a refrigerator on a cold day and you feel that that real quick ice burst hit you, but it was like it was uh, static charged almost. It kind of just hit me, and I had to actually kind of felt like it pushed me back a little bit. Um, I don't like this room. But it was like it was uh, static charged almost. What? We keep hearing voices upstairs. Awesome.
<laughs> I know you're in that room, right? <laughs> you get to stay here, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I got another house I can go to. <laughs> what? A couple voices. You keep hearing voices upstairs. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're in that room, right? <laughs> <laughs> you get to stay here, suckers. <laughs> We returned for a second night of investigating to make contact with the woman and child, which we found in the home. Is there a reason that we feel scared of this room? Is there a reason that we feel scared of this room? Is there a reason that we feel scared of this room? Is there a reason that we feel scared of this room? Did someone come in and murder you in your sleep? Did someone come in and murder you in your sleep? Did someone come in and murder you in your sleep? Did someone come in and murder you in your sleep? We'll be able to hear your voices later when we play them back. We'll be able to hear your voices later when we play them back. Southern? Southern? upset because I'm remodeling the house. Just trying to fix the basement because we're going to put a pool table in the basement. Who grabbed 
me? You scared the crap out of me. Are you playing with him? Come on. It's like behind you that wasn't it? Come on. Right here, yeah, dude. They grabbed me. Holy cow, I got goosebumps on my head. All through my body. Come on, grab one of us. Somebody grabbed me. Oh. We're gonna grab Tom. Grab Tom. Grab me. Grab Tito again. Probably about Tito, probably. Was that you, Ed? Make the noise and let us know if that was you. I know how you used to grab me like that and try to get my attention. We don't have as much as we did the last time. Um, we have a couple <clears throat> responses to questions. Um, and like I said, one really impressive voice response. So this one is when um, Tammy and Nicole were in the basement in that little room thing. <laughs> And they were feeling freaked out, pretty much like everybody else does in there. So Tammy asks this question. The lights out. Or yeah. this one, not that one. Okay. Are we still upstairs in this room? Sounds like my name. It sounds like it's saying his name. It sounds like was the pretty, lady too. Yeah, I was it? pretty yeah, I was pretty forceful when I was in there the first time. I was trying to get it to do something. Well, yeah, she called my name too. She said, Tito, remember I told you that yeah. back and now she called your name. Mm -hmm. So that's maybe
probably in a long time. There's just something I love about it. Um, they're still sitting up in the dining room, and they're talking to the child now. And they're asking him um, how old he is. Or asking his parents or whoever's there, you know, how old he is. Seven? Uh, so the child in that home is eight years old. That's nice to know. Yeah, so them people have been staying in that house now for like, what, two, three months? Mm -hmm. So, we have not told them about what's going on, that you just came and investigated sometimes. We have not told them that there was ghost there, people who have been nothing. So we're just kind of waiting to see, like, if anything happens to yeah, them. Yeah, I want or him like to tell us, yeah, yeah. 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 I want him to say yeah. something to us and yeah. then say, yeah, you know. An interesting side note to the case. There was a second house that was on the property. Whether or not it's connected to the woman and child is unclear. Whether or not they belong to the client home or the demolished home is still a mystery. Um, it was crazy that last time we came over and we were all downstairs and nobody was up there. You could hear people walking and talking like it was people upstairs. That really freaked me out. If you or someone you know is in need of our free services, contact us today at allyparanormal.com.